During my time as an officer in King George's Navy around about the 1800s, I've collected quite a few navigational instruments. This is the Kamal, believed to be used in Arabia between the 6th and the 8th century. It measures latitude. This is the angle of the sun above the horizon. It's a very simple device. Uh, this is a piece of leather with something akin to a handle with a piece of string that you can tie knots. As a fisherman, you would want to head into open water, into bigger water, to find the bigger fish. So you would head to the edge of your river. From there, you need to find a starting point to get you A, out into bigger water and B, to get you home again. As with most latitude measurements, time, precise time is required. And as they didn't have watches or chronographs or anything like that in this day and age, we must assume that they somehow worked out roughly when to take this measurement. So we've left our home port and we've traveled up the river and we've got to the point where we consider that we are moving into open water. At this point, we will measure our latitude. We will hold this pointing towards the sun and we will put the horizon on the bottom edge and by moving it within our line of sight we can then align the sun to the top edge. This point here, if you hold the string in your teeth, that distance needs to be recorded so we would tie a knot. Now we can go off into big water and do big fish and catch lots and lots of big stuff. When we need to come home again, what we need to do is to travel north or south until we can line up once again with the horizon on the bottom and the sun at the top. This will give us our point of entry. We can then turn left or right and head home. You would find several knots on the string of a Kamal. This is because you would travel to and from different places. This for instance is my house. This one is your house. This one is Uncle Jim's house. Now if you take all these knots and record them, you would have the start of a journal. And this, indeed, is the start of the Navigator's Journal. Log in the latitude of each city of the world.